Let's talk about kind of a process uh, with using the tags inside of Snowflake. And we're going to, in the demo, we're actually gonna show this process of how we're gonna apply this. And then what we're gonna do is next month with the, uh, with the Snowflake scripting, we're going to show how we can automate a lot of this so that uh, you'll see when we get in the demo, if we were manually managing, applying tags to all the users and every column and every table, it can become very overwhelming. And so what we're gonna do is today, we're gonna show you the mechanics. We're gonna show you the deep dive on the tags. Next week, next month in our pro talk, we're actually gonna show you how to use the Snowflake scripting to automate a lot of this. And so, uh, basically, in our data classification process, we've got a tag admin, right? We talked about that. They're going to create the tags for the process, for the processing. We're going to monitor, have a process that's monitoring the status of the tables, right? We we want uh, our tables, schemas, columns, right? We want to know, do we have any, any um, columns in tables that we haven't classified that hasn't gone through that process? Um, if it hasn't, we, we want to be able to go through that process. And so we want to identify all of those. And what we can do, and I'll show you, basically we just have a, a, a script, a little query that can generate for us all of our columns, a list of all of our tables and our columns and that, that say, hey, here's the column, here's information about this column. And we need the data owner to take and go through that process and actually call, qualify and classify each of these, where the owner can go through and say, yep, this is PII data, this is business critical data, all of these columns, these are public data, we don't need to put any, apply any um, you know, masking or rules or anything like that to those. Once the data owners have, have updated and processed all of that, to, they can do that in an Excel spreadsheet, for an example, that's fed back into Snowflake, and then with the Snowflake scripting, today we will actually do this manually, we'll run some of the commands, but then you'll see next month with the scripting, what that's going to do is it's going to take the information that says, hey, this, this column, this table has got sensitive data, and, and inside this table, these two or three columns have got PII data. It's going to take that information from the metadata, the classification metadata, and it's actually going to apply and update tags on schemas and tables and columns. It's going to apply the appropriate data masking policies to those tags that will then be enabled by the, the uh, tagging. You'll see we'll do that manually today. Uh, next month we'll have an automated process we'll show you that does that. And then it starts all over again when we add a new table or a new database or a new schema, new sets of tables. That, that whole process would then start all over again. We're bringing in some new data. We have to classify that data with the data owners and then we need to go and apply the appropriate tags, the, the appropriate masking, the appropriate governance. Hey folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.